morning everyone and welcome i am in beautiful arizona and wanted to do a video about handoffs today when you go into a dental office i love to watch when a patient comes up to the front and they're just dropped off and left the treatment corner says okay it looks like you're done for the day and they walk out However, I know what just happened in the back because as a consultant, I watch every single piece of within the office. I know that just now in the back, the doctor talked about that they need implants. However, there was no talk of implants. That patient doesn't have implants anywhere to be seen and the treatment coordinator has no idea to know that they needed to talk about implants. What just happened? We all know, money walked right out that door. That is never what we want to have happen within our practices. So let's talk about handoffs and why handoffs are important. Handoffs are something that in every single dental office, I don't care if you're PPO, HMO, fee-for-service, handoffs are paramount. Why? Because we are trying to make a clear communication between the front office to the back office from the doctor back to the treatment coordinators. If we're saying the same things over and over and over again, the patient's then going to trust us know that we know what we're talking about and be more likely to accept treatment from us. Number one, handoffs create clear communication. Number two, we get better treatment acceptance rates because patients have heard the same thing consistently three times and also there's less stress within our office. Front office isn't having to walk to the back to find out what is going on, right? We don't have to waste time figuring it out because we have a system in place that works and it's simply with handoffs. So let's talk about handoffs. If you listen to my past video, I talked about route slips. Route slips, I think, are the easiest way to do an effective handoff. Why? Because it's already written down. Nobody has to remember. I do have an office that doesn't want to use route slips, so we created an acronym for them to remember the pertinent information that they wanted to know. I don't care how you do it, I just am going to challenge you to do a handoff. The way to do a perfect handoff, when they come from the back, we want to recap what happened within that procedure. Ellie is our treatment coordinator and we are dropping off Kira, I'll be the patient. So, hi Ellie, this is Kira. Kira just completed the treatment in the back. We completed treatment just as expected. Kira knows that she needs to make sure she doesn't chew on that side to prevent the temporary from coming off in two weeks. She'll be coming back in two weeks. We're going to seat that crown, plus we need to do the remaining treatment that is listed on her treatment plan. Doctor did talk to her about an implant. If you could please go over the implant with her so she understands the pros and cons of implants along with what her insurance will cover, that would be perfect. Kira, do you have any questions for me? Nope, perfect. All right, great, I will see you in two weeks. Ellie, thanks so much for taking care of her. Now let's back it up. What did I just go over? Number one, I explained what happened in that treatment plan. Now I, I did abide by HIPAA to make sure I didn't say what happened, but we know a crown was done. That way if Kira has any questions, Ellie then knows what to ask her, right? I recapped it in front of the patient to the treatment coordinator to make sure that both parties knew what was going on. I also talked about the post-op of what the patient should be doing to make sure that we don't see them back before the two week. Then I added in the tie-in of the implant that was discussed back with the doctor. So now Ellie knows exactly what needs to be discussed with me as a patient as I leave the office. I was able to give crystal clear communication. I was able to recap the treatment plan and make sure that the patient knew that everything had been relayed back to the treatment coordinator. In doing so, we had a crystal clear communication, better treatment acceptance, and less stress for everybody involved. Handoffs, they're what make a practice run every single time. So go teach your team how to do a perfect handoff and aim for 95% perfect handoffs today. If you wanna know more, please visit our website at www.carisdentalconsulting.com or www.dentalplacementpros.com or subscribe to our channel. There's always helpful tips every single day to help you and your practice move forward.